Hello. In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. For all complex numbers z, the cosine of negative z is equal to the cosine of z, and the sine of negative z is equal to the negative sine of z. In other words, cosine is an even function, sine is an odd function. Okay, now to start, let's remind ourselves of our definition of cosine and sine. For each complex number z, we define the cosine of z to be e to the iz plus e to the negative iz over 2. And sine of z is e to the iz minus e to the negative iz over 2i. Okay, so now let's get into proving this theorem. To start with the proof, since we're trying to prove a statement about all complex numbers, let's give ourselves an arbitrary complex number. We'll call it z. From here, we want to show that these two facts hold. Let's deal with cosine first. Now, by definition, the cosine of negative z is just equal to this. So all we've done here was we substituted z for negative z. And then we know that i times negative z is just negative i z. And then negative i times negative z is just i z. So then let's just swap the two terms in the numerator. So we get this, but then by definition, this is precisely the cosine of z. And so we've shown that cosine of negative z is equal to cosine of z. So we've dealt with cosine, now let's deal with sine. Now, by definition, the sine of negative z is as follows. Right. sine of negative z is equal to this. So all we've done here was we substituted z for negative z. And then we know that i times negative z is equal to negative i z. And then we know that negative i times negative z is equal to i z all over 2i. So we have this. But then we can all agree that the numerator is equal to this, right? If you distribute the minus sign across, you get precisely what we have here. But then, by definition, e to the iz minus e to the negative iz over 2i is equal to sine z. So this is just negative sine z. And so we've shown that sine of negative z is equal to negative sine z. So, that's exactly what we wanted to show, right? We've dealt with both cosine and sine. So this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.